But more than the to-dos, like I said, you can also record your feelings. It's a little bit sneaky, huh? In other words, you learn from your past, you learn as you go along, so you can optimize the future. Back to work. Hello, fellow creator. Welcome back to the channel, the best spot on YouTube for creative productivity and growth. So in this video, I'm sharing something very exciting with you guys. Over the last few weeks, I've been trying to implement a new habit for productivity. And so far, the experience has been great and has really transformed my productivity. It all started by reading an article on Nest Labs that talks about a specific type of journaling that combines notes, to-dos, and time tracking. And I thought to myself, those are three of my favorite things, so why not give that a go? I already do some sort of journaling weekly, but it tends to be sort of free-flowing journaling instead of something that can be applied directly during my workday. And so the type of journaling that I'm talking about in this video was really a game changer. You see, when I'm planning then from the present, looks at then from the future like the most productive guy on earth. So there's a little bit of lag of what I'm planning and what's actually realistic. In other words, I tend to plan more than I can do because I believe I can actually do it. And so I struggle with this problem for a very long time. But there's a way to avoid this, a tool, a technique that will allow you to look at your work and start being more accurate when you're creating your plans. And that magic technique is called interstitial journal. And so in this video, I'm going to guide you to all the steps that you need to become the ultimate interstitial journaler. So let's start at the beginning and first talk about what is interstitial journaling. All right. So the basic idea of interstitial journaling is to write a few updates when you either take a break or finish a task. And when you do so, you always write the time next to it. And because you're adding the time as well, you're also time tracking at the same time. So let's say that I'm working on a task, which is writing a new article for my blog. And so after writing for a while, I decide to take a break. But before doing that, I write down on my interstitial journal, for example, 1024 AM, I wrote 567 words so far for my new article. And so in a sense, interstitial journaling is literally tracking your work using a journal. So it combines your to-dos, your notes, and allows you to track your time all in the same place. And another great benefit of interstitial journaling is that it allows you to see when you are taking breaks and how long they are taking. And since you're writing everything down, what happened to me is that I became a little bit more selective about the times and the duration of my breaks. Because the truth is, now that I'm writing it down, I don't want to procrastinate. It's a little bit sneaky, huh? And not only during breaks, but also when I finish a task. It helps me avoid procrastination and then minimizes the task switching just because I'm making myself accountable to this entity, which is my journal. And by writing everything down, by writing your notes when you finish a task, I also found that it liberates mental RAM that I'm going to need very soon for the next task. And so that empties my brain and makes a smoother transition to start the next project, to start the next task fully focused. The switch. And in the beginning, I struggle a little bit doing this every single day at all times. But every single time that I do it, I find that I'm more mindful about my work and I get a feeling of more control over what I'm doing and that I can always go back and check my progress if I need to at any given time. And another great thing of this journaling technique is you don't need any fancy tools. Something like this, a notebook, Simply write it down during your day, new page for the next day, and that's all you need. But if you prefer to use digital tools over physical ones, I did find that using Rome for my interstitial journaling was a lot better. So I'm gonna talk about that process in Rome a little bit later in this video. Let's now talk about on how I use interstitial journaling. All right, so I use this journaling technique for all types of things and also for the feelings and the energy that I have throughout the day. So for example, I use it to track word tasks like writing a script or writing an article for my blog. I also use it for errands. For example, I did my laundry after lunch and for the self-awareness part as well. So on that part, I might write something like I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed because I have to record three videos and I'm feeling the pressure of it. And this part is actually pretty nice because when I'm doing my weekly review, when I do this on Fridays in Rome, I can look back in my week and see how I felt during the week when I was doing my work. And finally, I also like to use it to review my progress throughout the week and list the wins that I might have on any given day. So for example, I might write something like I completed the redesign of Zero to Done, a course that I have, and it looks fantastic. I'm so happy with this new design. And so this helps me a lot as an optimistic person, like I said in the beginning of the video, because now I'm not just looking at my to-do list and see I have to record 10 videos this week and at the end of the week I can see if it's completed or not. With interstitial journaling you write all the steps as you go along. In other words you learn from your past, you learn as you go along so you can optimize the future. So as with any habit it's a little bit hard in the beginning to get used to doing it every single day and I found that the best tool for this was using Rome Research. So now let's talk about on how I use interstitial journaling in Rome. All right so I've opened my Rome Research here and the great thing is that Rome gives you this daily note and the daily note is great to use for interstitial journaling actually. So what I like to do is right at the top here, my tasks for today, use this as a bullet too. And then under here, I'll write down the tasks. So for example, here I might write record video on interstitial journal. And so when I finish this task a few minutes from now, I can come back to my Rome here, write the time and write my feelings on the task. And you can do this automatically in Rome by using the command slash and then write time. And then if you click enter, it will show 255, which is the current time. And then I can write my thoughts on it. So for example, I think this is a great video. Let's actually move this down here. And now I can actually brainstorm the thumbnail that I want to use. So for example, thumbnail might be using new backdrops with Rome on iPad, actually this page, and also a notebook. 
So because this is a thumbnail that I need to shoot, I can turn this into a to-do. Command Enter turns that into to-do. If you wanted, record video could be also a to-do. And then after I finish this, I gotta upload all the files into Google Drive to Editor. That's also a to-do. And you just keep listing things as you go through the day. Now, another thing that I like to do is sometimes I won't complete all the tasks that I need a day and I can move them to another date in the future. So for example, let's say that I had another task here, record video number, let's say 58, and I didn't get to do this task today. So you can do slash and then date. This will open the date picker and maybe I move this task to this Thursday, maybe I move this task to tomorrow. So when I go into my May 14 page in Rome, it will show the record video number 58, that might be the title here if it was an actual to-do that I had to do. And finally, because I want to have a look at this when I'm doing my weekly reviews, I'll open the brackets here and tag weekly reviews so I get access to that when I'm doing my weekly review. But more than the to-dos, like I said, you can also record your feelings. So for example, if after this video, let's just put time again, and here I'm going to change the time to 310. Maybe I write down something like, I fell into a Twitter black hole, back to work, or another time like 1530, and I say, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. Maybe I had too much coffee. A damn fine cup of coffee. So to make sure that you're building the habit, it's essential that you always have Rome open. What I like to do is click here on the Rome and say pin, and that will always be open on my Google Chrome. It's actually the first page when I open my computer in the morning to start working. And by writing all of this down, it makes me feel like I'm accountable to someone, which is a feeling you don't get a lot as a creator. And then I'll use all of these prompts in my weekly review and see what needs adjustment for the upcoming week. If you wanna know more about how I do my weekly reviews in Rome, all you have to do is click here and go watch that video right now. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.